welcome back guys uh, in this tutorial series we are going to learn kibana so the kibana is hosted at 5601 by default you can change the port but for me it's on 5601 so you can see that on the left side there are many options available so to create an index in Elasticsearch you can go to the Dave tools so here it provides one console and here you can write the index you can put the data into that index and create and search whatever you want but let's see how many index are already present in that so for to get that we just need to write get and this command cat indices so it's going to show me all the indexes which are already present over here so we are having many index. Let's say uh, one index which is already available is airport data. And let's see what is data in that. So to get in the, to see the data into it, you just need to write get and the name of index and then slash search. So it will show me all the data which is available. So you can see that data is available in the JSON format and so this is one record and this one is another record and this is having a unique ID in that. The ID can be from your data or if you do not provide any mapping ID, it inherently calculate and then write data into it. So at that time ID would be automatically generated. So the next is uh, because you have data already here and this index, we are going to learn how to create a visualization. So before getting into the visualization, first we need to create an index pattern so that it can understand what are the columns and the data type already present over here. So for that, you need to go to the management and then index patterns. So uh, to, you need to go to the management and then create an index pattern. Because we do not have any index pattern right now, you just need to click on index patterns. It's going to create an index pattern. Let's say name was airport data. So you just need to write the name of that index. You need to remove that airport data. OK, so one match is there. So we are going to create index pattern for that I put data so if you have any time filter so you can choose that particular field name so for me it's TS so which is having information of time so I'm just creating that now you can see that all the fields which are available in that it's present over here and if you see the date only one date is available on which we can create a visualization so if I create any visualization it would be on TS. If you change the TS, the amount of data which is coming into the filter conditions would change. So for that, if you want to discover that what are the columns and what are the data in that particular time, you can click on this discover. If you click on discover, you can see that uh, you just need to change the index here. So our index was airport data. I'm just selecting it. And you can see that last 15 minutes, there is no data because uh, in the TS, the time frame which we had was different. So I don't know what was that. So I'm just selecting the last five years. In the last five years, the data is this. If you select the time frame like last 15 minutes, last four hours, something, if there is a match, the result would come here. But if there is no match, you can see that no result match your search criteria. But for simplicity for now, for analyzing purpose, I'm just writing last, or you can say last one year because I don't know when I, I inserted this data. So it was, I think, you know, 6th April. So all the data is from 6th April. So there would be spike on it. If you see here, the spike is, it, it represent on which time the data inserted. So it, it, you can see that on 6 April 2020, there was a six count. And if you insert more records here, the spike would come here. And the red line is showing is a current time. So we are here. You can see all the data which is present in our past. And if you if you are continuously updating the index, then on a real-time basis also you can see the records over here. So this is the beauty of Kibana. 
and uh, this is just to show you the data but uh, for actual in reality you can use the visualization this visualization is very good we, we will will create a basic visualization in it so just click click on it and click plus and there are different type of charts available here so for me right now I just want that to how many counts are present and what are the types for that so I'm taking the pie chart here so I'm just selecting the pie and then it asks me to choose a source because we were working on airport data it we can select that airport underscore data index okay so you here you can see that you need to to press auto refresh to five seconds so it can refresh in five seconds and the time limit which I have selected is last one year and this is the count which is showing so we know that total count was six and now if you want to split it you can split the chart or you can split the slices uh, on the basis of what field so if you want to select any field which is present in that data you have to select the terms when you select the terms you can select the actual column in that so let's say we can select on the basis of destination so in the airport data we have destination and origin so i'm selecting what is the, what is the destination for that so destination and the maximum number of slices you want because if you know that if many slices are available then the, it won't be relevant for us so you can select five and then you need to press this play button or you can say the apply changes now you can see that only two values are present over here that is mum and tel so you can analyze in that way and you can save this data and you can say that uh, destination chart if you confirm now every time you you click on this visualization you can see the data which is updating on a real-time basis if you want last 15 year 15 minutes you can see that there is a no data available here you can change the time frame as per you need so that's that's it for today's video and next videos we are going to learn all kind of visualization and how to create a complete dashboard or a real-time dashboard and there are many options available on the left side we will discuss one by one for more tutorials you can subscribe us and you can visit bigdataprogrammers.com